By the end of this video, you'll be drawing polygons so that you can create art similar to what you see on screen right now. All of these pieces of art are based on using polygons or circles. We're also going to explore how to use the repeat block so that we can loop through the same code multiple times without having to rewrite it multiple times. But before we start, we have another AP word alert. The word is algorithm. An algorithm is the sequence of steps, or more specifically, a description of the steps that are performed by a computer. An algorithm can be written in plain English or using a programming language. Programming languages allow us to translate the English steps into a language that the computer can convert and then understand itself. The first thing to do is to pause this video and take a second to trace through the following script and predict what it'll do. Now let's test our hypothesis. I quickly recreated the script and now let's click on it to see if our hypothesis is correct. And the sprite is moving but nothing's being drawn. And that's because our pen isn't down right now. So if we go over to the pen palette and click on pen down, the pen will be touching down on the stage, ready to draw. To the right of the script, I also created another script that allows us to reset the sprite in the same position, pointing in the same direction, clearing the stage, and then putting the pen down itself. So when I click on this, it's going to reset my sprite. Now that my pen is down, let's click on the script, and it does in fact draw a square. Steps 5a through 5d ask us to experiment with the move block, the turn block, and the repeat block by changing their inputs and seeing what happens. I'll let you guys do that on your own. In 5e, we're asked to draw a triangle, which I think is going to be a fun challenge. I really should be like drawing this on paper, but I'm going to start doing it right now, just at the bottom of my scripting area. So what I want to do is I want to draw a triangle that is 150 steps long, and then it has to turn a certain number of degrees. And if I remember correctly from high school geometry, if you sum or add up all of the angles inside of a triangle, it's going to total 180 degrees. So maybe I should turn 60 degrees each time I do this. And I'm going to do this three times. Now I have three separate steps, and you guys can tell that I've kind of repeated myself over and over again. Usually, if you find that you're repeating code over and over again, there's probably a more efficient way of writing your code. For now, I'm just going to leave this here just to see if I can get my triangle working. I'm going to reset my sprite, and then I'm going to click on my block, and this is not a triangle. This is no big deal. Debugging is a part of learning how to program, and it's a great opportunity to learn from our mistakes. So what I think I have to do is I have to subtract 60 degrees from 180 degrees for my turn. So that is going to leave me with a 120 degree turn, which will give me inner angles of 60 degrees. Let me reset my sprite, and then I'm going to test out my triangle, and it works perfectly. But it's not written in an efficient manner. I can see that I'm repeating move, turn, move, turn, move, turn. So instead of writing it out explicitly like that, I'm going to use a repeat block. And I want to just repeat the first two command blocks three times. Let me reset my sprite, let me click on my new block that I created, and it works perfectly. This idea of taking code that already works and trying to make it more efficient or writing it a little bit differently is known as refactoring. Now refactoring is not an AP word, but it is a word you're going to hear a lot if your goal is to just get programs working and then try to find efficient ways of doing the same thing. Finally, we're asked to use the set pen size block to something like 5 or 10 or 50 to see how it works. But keep in mind that in order to change the pen size, we have to click on the block after we've entered the number in the input area. So if I go over to the pen palette and I, let's say I change the pen size, or I set the pen size to 5, if I don't click it, nothing's going to happen differently. So I have to click it here in the palette, or I have to drag it into the scripting area and then click it, and now when I draw a triangle, you can see that it's a bit thicker. Let me try 50 just to see what happens. So let me clear my stage with my reset block. Let me set the pen size to 50 and let me draw that triangle. And you can see that it comes off as a really thick triangle. On to page two. See you there.